Hi, my name is Courtney Streep and I'm from the Pleasant Valley Sharpshooters 4-H Club in Fayette County. The name of my presentation is Creative Nail Art. Nail art is a creative way to change up your everyday look or to accessorize a special outfit. The first brightly colored nail polish was seen in Paris in the 1920s. For many years, nail polish was not popular. Psychiatrists even thought it to be a form of self-mutilation. It eventually evolved into a global fad. I chose one type of nail art to show you today. For many, before you begin, your nails need to be clean and all nail polish needs to be removed. First, you need the, follow, the following materials. For brightly colored nail polishes, a clear shop coat, cotton tipped cosmetic applicators, toothpicks, nail polish remover, and cotton balls or Q-tips. A paper, also a paper towel to cover your workspace. First, first you choose which color you want to use as a base coat. I chose pink. Paint the entire nail. Take the color you chose as a base coat and paint the entire nail. It should look like this when you are finished. Do this to all nails and let dry. Once your nails are completely dry, choose what your color will be. I chose purple. With this color, paint a stripe across the middle of your nail. I used a cosmetic applicator to do this to all to do this. Do this to all nails and let dry. When you are finished with this step, it should look like this. When the nails are dry, choose a third color. I chose blue. Take another applicator and paint, this, paint the color starting where you ended and paint it all the way to the tip of the nail. It should look like this when you are finished. Take the last color of nail polish and make polka dots. I chose yellow to make the dots. The dots, you can use a toothpick or a cosmetic applicator. Do this to all your nails and let dry. Finish with a clear top coat that is applied to all nails. When the design is finished, it should look like this. It should look like this. After each step, the, nail, the polish is completely dry before moving to the next step. The nail polish remover, cotton balls, and Q-tips are on hand in case you make a mistake. I have pictures of, of two other designs. This one, I put a base coat of pink and when that was dry, I put, I used a applicator and dipped it in polish, black polish, and made dots. When it was dry, I used a clear coat and put it over top. In this picture, I used a stick on nail art. These are stickers that you use, that you use nail that you place on your nail, then bend over and file the extra off. And then finish, <clears throat> finish with a clear coat. There are other types of stick on nail art that you can use. And then apply your nail. And then apply a clear top coat is put on. The clear top go coat gives your nails a nice shiny finish. Nail art is a lot of fun and is a lot of fun and a creative way to express yourself. I have handouts if you want one. It telling you how to do the design and list my sources. If anyone wants one, come up and get one. 
this is my this concludes my presentation if do you have any questions um I'll, i found them on the internet uh yes um it depends on the design on how long it takes um 